YouTube and salute! We are back here in our Live Forms campaign where we just entered into another crisis of importance. So, the crisis was last time, you guys don't know. It was the Italian liber liberation of Istra, which is this little region right here, right over here of Italy, where they wanted this, and the British and the Austrians said no, but the Germans and the French said, you know what, we don't care what you guys think, we're going to go after it anyways. And so, this is how the new, the new World War starts. And, oh, I just got a spoiler for you guys, so, sorry about that. Anyway, so, as you can see, I have actually done a relatively big invasion plan, especially for me. I haven't really, this is like the first invasion plan where I actually add, this is the most dialogues or most, like, characters I've ever added. So, be proud of me for this, and I'll explain everything on the way, but let me explain something to you about this war. Um, this war, like I said, is going to become a great war, and how do you know that, James? Well, because right now, Austria, when I was looking over, when I just took a break to go, like, check up on some things, whatever, is the eighth power in the world, and I had noticed that, if I remember correctly, Sweden had been the ninth power for a very long time, so that means, and probably during the this a couple years because we're probably gonna be at war for at least a year so that means Austria is most likely gonna become the next great power so you know what that means for us well it means this is gonna become the second the second dos do do I love by the way I love saying French French numbers they're probably one of the ve the best I mean un do trois quatre cinq six set set huit neuf dix they're probably one of the best number systems ever, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to be becoming the next du Great War, the Second Great War, and with that, that becomes the opportunity for us to take as much as we want from the collapsing governments of these places. So, what do I mean by that? Well, as you guys know from the last time we did this, and this is the reason why we took over Ireland and got this much land anyways, is because the reduction of infamy is so great when you go into Great Wars that it's almost nigh impossible not to take something of importance when you go into a Great War. So, what will I be taking? Will be taking? Well, for one, I'm going to be taking the last little part of Ireland. I want to completely own the Emerald Jewel of the Isle, so I may be considered the new, the new empire. Because, I mean, who, uh, who in the history, besides the Irish and the Great British, have ever owned the island isle i don't think anyone so this is like a crowning moment for the for the french to say hey we took this from you great britain what you gonna do about it? what you gonna do and then you know i was thinking about it and i thought you know what i'm gonna take it a step further by saying while i'm also freeing the emerald isle i'm also gonna free scotland from the tyranny of the british so that no longer will the british be able to say that they're your united kingdom because Technically, they will no longer be the United Kingdom because technically to be United Kingdom, you need to have at least Scotland in your mix. And without Scotland, they become just the Great British. So we knock them. We not only by we also we knock them down only by name, but we also knock them down by industrial score, um, infantry prestige. We'll be taking the British out this time, and I believe we can do it. I mean, um, the British aren't exactly well. Let me just put this out there flatly. This is not going to be really a great war and I bet that's really confusing to some of you guys what I mean is that while it's gonna be labeled a great war it's not gonna be a great war because um first of all the Austrians they're, they're messed up there is no way they can hold the line with both the Germans and the Italians and I mean think about this the Germans aren't even and just aren't even like sending in all the men they're just kind of sending in some men and neither are the Italians they're just kind of like relaxing and so you know, I don't see the Austrians, one of the biggest contenders, being a particular threat. And then the UK? Are you kidding me? The UK is the eighth power in terms of militaristically. And they don't even have a big, they don't even have a big ship line anymore. I have a bigger, like, I have bigger ships and much bigger navy than they do. See, capital ship 888. Let's see, Great Britain? They don't even have ships. So the Great British are a former shell of what they were. So that means we should honestly free the nation so they don't have to deal with the tyranny anymore of the king. 
maybe we're doing this like the olden days where we freed the uh, Americans from the from the uh, Great British during the 1776 I think it was no 1781 was officially when it ended but anyways that that's a different matter all entirely so that's gonna be our goals and now that I've stated that I mean I may add more stuff and I may like detract from other stuff but that's mainly what we want to achieve doing this let's play and it's kind of nice to see that the French and the Germans have put aside their differences for at least one time and have said, hey, let's work together to go teach these other great powers a lesson. Although, this does demonstrate that the Germans are trying to take a more active role in the world, which is not necessarily the best thing for us right now because, you know, they still are kind of scary when it comes to war efforts and I'm not exactly the biggest... Holy shoot, what the... Ah... Uh... 75 big armies. I only, my average is about 33. That's really bad. So anyways, that's going to be happening right there. Um, okay, so now we got that talked about. Let's talk about the actual war effort and how we're going to do this. So I have a couple of three long plan. First off is our defensive island. So defend island, our Irish aren't really that defended. And I'm going to be honest with you, we haven't really concentrated too much on defenses with island. So I'm hoping with... With this war's end, I hope we will never have to. But, while I say that, we still don't have enough defenses here. So what do we have to do? Well, first off, I'm going to move these guys right here to go defend this little area of Kepling, or Killerware, to just try and see if we can kind of block some of these guys from coming in. Because this might, this might, no, it does not. But this might just at least, like, give them a couple good stands. Because we could at least, we can always land troops right here in Dublin to block off wherever British soldiers are coming in. And we can always land some troops over here, but we can't land any troops right here, so yeah. The next thing is, is that we have to kind of hold the British troops from coming into the aisle. So what we're going to have to instantly do is send my, not my steamers, no, definitely not my steamer ships. That would be a terrible idea. Balance, okay. What we're going to send is our militaristic battleships to go over there. Okay, okay, it's a 15. It's a 15, that's what I need. 15 is to block up the Irish Sea so that the British will not be able to send that many men. Then I'm also going to send some men to the um, St. George Canal so that they can't use any of this. Because for some reason, you need to you need to own both of these for them to not be able to come across. I don't know why, but I've learned that in the past of different playthroughs. Like, I played as one of the German campaign. That's how I kind of learned about this. So, we're going to need that boat so that we can kind of halt. If we can at least halt the German, I mean not German, the... Um, UK in attack, we could definitely hold the line and just conquer this because honestly Really all we need in this war is just to conquer this because most of our war score will be tallied up from the Germans and Italians Completely taking over Austria, which by the way, I feel so bad for the Austrians They are going to get massacred during this war and so I mean we really don't have to work that hard We just have to make sure the Germans. I mean not Germans the uh, UK ins don't gain up any like Infantry, I mean not infantry, um, war score against us. Um, in the colonies, um, psh, the unknown. <laughs> um, I haven't really, inf I haven't really had a policy towards improving my colonies for so long that, you know what, I'm going to keep it that way. That's how, that's how the French really act. We really, really care about our colonies, as you guys can clearly tell. And, um, apparently the United, the British United States of, of, not to what is this um what is this of not to zululand oh i see they conquered a little bit zoo there's apparently a very much contender for me to go to war but i only think they will actually go to war this is going to be a satellite the only problem is i hope the british don't have much troops anymore which they don't but you know that's that's i'm gonna tell you my flat out i don't have any defenses for my colonies and it's just basically every colony for itself okay now that I've said that, um, is there anything else I might grab from this war? Well, as I was thinking earlier, I might grab uh, some of Indonesia, but then I was like, meh, Indonesia? You know, that'd be pretty stupid to waste a core on it. I mean, it does have some raw metals, but, I mean, I have some good metals right there. Um, I have some, I have some good metals right over here in Aldo, Alice, your lane. And so, you know, wait, there really is no, like, big green patch of, like, golden medals? Wow. What are we doing here, then? 
Oh no, it's in China. Ah, it's in China. That's why. Okay, so you know, that wouldn't be really be that my style, and you know, I don't know. I mean, there might be something of the colonies I might want, but most likely I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, New Zealand's pretty worthless as a colony. <laughs> Sorry, New Zealanders, but guys, as a colony aren't really that imperialistic and will not grant me my goals. So now that I've explained everything, let me go to Letton, Letton. And not Le Tons. Because somebody pointed out in the comments a couple periods back saying, It's not, a, it's, you do not pronounce it Le Tons, you pronounce it Le Ton. And I want to make sure I get that accent and make sure I get the pronunciation correct. Because I want to make sure I honor these French people. While also showing a let's play of me kicking the butt out of every other great power in the world. Okay. Now that we reestablish our goals. Now, what else? There is one more thing I have you guys talk to you about. And... It's about this stupid, uh, tank problem I keep having. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm completely fed up with these tanks not being made. So, and I'm completely fed up with my capitalists being so ignorant and so lazy about it that they will refuse to not build one stupid factory, not even put it in my projected projects for us. So, you know what? I finally, um, uh, just sick of it, and so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to do the unthinkable convert to being a uh, socialist for a couple days. I mean, it's not going to be that bad. I'm going to convert to being socialist for a couple days. I can actually change some of these things. Um, I don't know. I don't think that would be the best idea. I'll think about it. Let's see. How much? Who's the biggest voting rights? Who's the biggest people? 14 hour days. No! Heck no, am I giving you guys 14 hour days? I could give you safety. Okay, I'll make you guys semi happy. Um, what's the second biggest thing? Um, pacifism, no. Interventionism, yay! Moralism, genderism, sexualized. Secularized, not sexualized. Secularized. Okay, fuel. So the, the biggest thing is good health care. Okay, I can give you guys good health care, but I will not give you guys a home. 14 hour days. I'm sorry, but I'm not that generous with my timing. You guys work until I... You guys work a reasonable hours of 25 hours a day. I think that's a very reasonable amount of time. Especially since we clothe you, we feed you, the bare minimum, and we give you good health care. I think that's pretty dang reasonable. So, anyways, back to my original point. That was just me having some fun there with the ideologies there. So, um... Back to production, so I'm just going to, in my top three places of, let me see, um, I need to get actual French places, so, let me see, um, Panama, no, where's Editon France? French Walden, no, they're not quite French, even though they've, even though they've had the moments, they haven't, they're not quite French, okay, well, I'll go into Baton, so what I'll do, because I'm getting really sick of this. Is I'm just going to make a bunch of factories. Let me see. Fuel, electronic. There they are. I'm just going to make a bunch of factories. Like four or five. Okay, make sure this is Bourgeon. Bourligon. Bourligon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, I'm just going to make a couple factories in my top biggest cities. And hopefully start producing things. At least Lorraine, no, that place gets like bombed every time we go to war against the Germans. I don't think I'd hold it very long, okay. Um, Ile de France, okay, this is the place I need to do it, okay. So three, I mean, I want to make sure that the French are being the biggest in terms of tank production. We want to be the ones where everyone else buys our tanks. We want to be like the Germans were in WW2 with the Panzer. We, they had the best tanks in the wild, but the best heavy armored tanks, and they needed to be everything, okay. So, Normandy, um, anything I could close down, that wouldn't really that be, no, it seems like most of those factories are pretty well developed. And, hmm, you know, I want to make sure this all stays afloat, so what I might do is build it in a place like Panama. That way, Panama has a good region. Alright, now that I did that, now I'm going to be socialist for about a year now. 
That's gonna be actually no. I will not be socialist. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna see if I can switch my government to the masses. And from this point on, I'm gonna have an election every single year until my population becomes back into our uh, back into the conservative and rightful way. So what do I need to what do I need to do? I need to be very protectionist. I be interventionist, which is the main difference: moralist, limited citizenship, and pro-military. Right now we're anti-military, which means our uh, Probably are uh, this is probably gonna yep. Yeah, I was about to say anti-military does not help you. Okay, so let's actually begin with the war. Um Okay, what else we need to do? Uh oh shoot shoot. Okay, and then they're gonna be fighting, so I won't even deal with that. So I'm gonna move these guys over here. And one of the things we also need to get out of this war, and I seriously mean this, we need to get out of this war, otherwise this will hurt us for the rest of the times is we need to get gas gas defense capabilities. That's one of those things we need to get. Otherwise, other great powers um, down the line, because most great powers now have gas attacks, it will hurt us. So, everything. And we already got our passages blocked off, but I'm not sure if it's going to register this time around. Because sometimes... Dang, okay, it did register somewhat. We got to block off some of these guys. And, okay, we're going to have to start supporting our military. But I don't think we can support them even fractionally. Wow, we really have to get up better. We really have to get better at this. And right now, whoa, what happened to my, to my army? Okay, tax, tax, tax. Dang, what happened? That's just like new. Okay, so we had like a major infamy hit or something. Okay, and our people right here are blocking up the British. And this is the first time we'll be able to show off our new fleet. And over here, I'll move some, move, move some men. And we're just going to uh, instantly go down and go hit down Dublin. And over here, I'll go send some more people from my line. No, I'll go send these guys. These two brothers from our recently made Hustler. And... Okay, we want limited citizenship. Okay. We want to move these guys right over here. That way we also have a good balance army. Because it's also important to realize you need a good balance army. And Germany is taking care of all... Oh, I forgot to mention. Germany is going to take care of all these little tiny states. I'm just going to make sure I deal with England. Which is, I think, by far the harder chance. And as you can see, this is about where I predicted what would happen. And I'm not moving in right now because of probably uh, reasons. Okay, let's go right here. Let's just drop, drop them on their heads. Let's see if my men will have a... Okay, the beliefs must be respected. Okay. Okay, my men are taking a way bigger infamy hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go send these men to go help them. Next, I'm going to go pick up the next round of men. from over here. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a bigger army than they do in all times. The Germans are doing a pretty good job. They're not being... They're not being the most... Accurate. Okay, we got this. And I'm going to move these guys over here, I think it is. Because I want to make sure I have a good defense against that other interventionism. I want to make sure I have a good defense against those uh, British soldiers over there. You won the battle we field. And Romania, will Romania finally gain inside my sphere? Yes! Oh, man! Romania finally got inside my sphere. This is such a joyous occasion. Now, will it remain inside my sphere? Let's see. It has some rebel problems, but generally not that big, and, uh, what are they? Red Guards? Okay, I'm gonna stop that right now. I'm sending, I'm sending a good-sized army to go put down the Red Guards. Oh, wait, I can't. Because I don't have military access with the Italians. Well, um, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. Wait, I do have military access. Why can I get to Romania? Oh, I guess it's because I don't have military access with Romania. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later. Continue the war. Um, yep, and as you can see, now this is now a great war. And right now, we should be winning pretty heavily. Yeah, we're winning pretty heavily. And already, these guys are starting to add up their own thing. Germany wants to annex Baden. Um, what will I add? Okay. I will add up to... I will add to the Great British. I want Ulster. Let's see. Acquire State. Acquire Ulster. Proceed. Okay, and now I got 17.25 infamy, 17.13 infamy. We just defeated the Great British, I did not realize that. Okay, we got a good standing army right over here. 
Well, I think that's actually a fully upgraded army, so I'm not sure if I want to attack that yet. Um, we need to come back here, pick up some more men. Um, we got, we could use our somewhat tank divisionized people. I think I will. I think that's what I'll do, is I'll use somewhat of our tank divisions. Um, I'm, ooh, I keep forgetting to do this. Okay, go right here, balance. Okay, I'm going to go send half of my dreadnoughts to go in the straight of Dover, and then go ahead and send the other half of the dreadnoughts. Okay, the 14 stack. Send the other half of the dreadnoughts to go to the channel. Which then, I should be completely blocking up the British power in terms of anything, and the British kind of know it. They know I'm not... Oh, shoot. They're going directly towards my soldiers. That is never a good sign. Okay, but I might be able to block them off. Let me just get some of my balancing act. Okay, you guys. Actually, you know what? Let's just let the computer balance it out. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to go send them straight to over here. Straight to the uh, landing. And everyone over here is conservatives. Good job. Okay, the battle of there. Okay, we're destroying the British. The British have, like, nothing. That's really good. We're still winning. Um, the British have attacked us right there. We're beating them with a heavy heart. And then we just added these men to the mix. And we just, like, crushed them. Okay, and we got our men healing up there. I mean, this is... Wow, we're doing a really good job of beating the British. Okay, now that we have all this done with... Um, we should be planning the actual invasion of the channels. So... I'm going to start moving my men over here. Oh, man. I really... You know, this war... Okay. 8.9 the Battle of Galloway. Okay. So now we'll move up here. We're going to start attacking. We're going to start pushing the British out. They, what we want to make sure is that these troops will never be able to heal. We want to make sure that they die. We want to make sure they get they die a good British death. I guess is the way we want to phrase this. Okay, now that we got this here, um, you guys just, I'm going to move up half of you guys right there. Half of you guys go help collapse the rest of the British right there. Okay, yeah, we got the bands. There is no way they'll be able to take us out here.